Here's around the ground and I, 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 I can't find Glebe FC, just found Stansfield, I don't know why, why they gone away, I still got film for you to see, yeah baby, welcome to around the ground. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Around the Ground. I'm at Glebe Football Club. Um, although Glebe aren't playing, hence the intro, it's Stansfeld, their tenants who are at home um, against Tunbridge Wells. Stansfeld, the Tunbridge Wells is the only match on in the um, Southern, whatever this is, Southern Combination Premier League today due to County Cups and FA Vars and what have you, I think. Um, so here I am. Uh, been here once before but a long time ago um don't remember much about it to be honest we've never filmed here so decided to come back and as we come up to this banner that says glebe football club i have never been to a football club which has its name branded around so many times see if you can count as you go around the as i walk around the grounds it's extraordinary um anyway a nice little ground actually that's just having a look back at the um stand and there you go at the end, um, hard standing on three sides. So this far side here where the dugouts are is um, grass. But hard standing on all the others. I have just had the second best burger I've ever had at football. Uh, the best being Barnet where they cooked it to order. I had a chef there. But I don't normally eat burgers at football grounds, but um, I came through Chislehurst. I walked from Chislehurst Station, as we come to the dugouts here, um, fairly standard affairs. I took a picture of that just now. Um, yeah, and it's all very nice, very posh it looked around there. You can't just go anywhere and get a sandwich or something like that. You can have paninis or um, there's a fancy fish restaurant and a fancy Italian restaurant if you just wanted a sandwich or something you haven't got a chance so I thought oh, I'll just see what I can find and hoped to have some food here and they have a little cafeteria in that clubhouse in the back there it looked good before I ordered just for menu and the guy cooking or whatever I thought oh, I'll risk it and it was absolutely fantastic meaty juicy um, had a slight crisp to it, a sauce, salad, and the chips were nicely sorted. It was just lovely. And this is the far end. There's a little stand here that we're just coming up to. Seems to be a requirement of the FA for ground grading, doesn't it, to have these extra um, covered areas that nobody ever goes in. And here's one here, put in a most strange place, really. Just behind the goal. Afternoon, guys. Slight slope. Um, I'm walking up the slope at the moment. Love this banner, actually. Here, home of the foxes. It's about a mile, mile and a half from Chislehurst Station. Um, bring your crampons because the first thing that happens after you come out of station and turn left is you go up this mother of all hills. Once you get to the top of it, it's fine. But it was, a, it was an effort. And yeah, it took about, I don't know, I didn't rush, to be honest. We had a bit of a nose round a cricket pitch and what have you on the way here, about 25 minutes. It's looking back at where we've just been. And dugouts over there. can see some other goals behind the fencing over there there's another match taking place on there might be a veterans match that kind of thing uh, three tvs in the clubhouse which was showing forest green the exeter so i watched some of the first half of that hard standing as you can see here in a railed off pitch and then we come to the main stand which has got three or four rows of seats May well go in there. There's no poles on it, which is lovely. Very happy about that. So yeah, there's about 
50, 60 seats, I guess, in there. Another covered area here, which is possibly a disabled area. Cover. Very neat. I like the um, pull-out tunnel. And turnstiles ahead of me there. And on the nice sort of uniform fencing, which is all the way around the pitch, gives it a really enclosed feel. And it's um, it's a decent little ground. Um, very happy to get this one on the channel. But don't take my word for it. Why don't you come to Glebe Football Club yourself? I'm sure you'll have a warm welcome. Stay tuned for highlights of today's match between Stansfield and Tunbridge Wells. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, click on like. If you hated every minute of it, click on dislike. Why not subscribe so that all future videos that I do go directly to your YouTube feed. Once you subscribe, click on the little bell. Click on the little bell. You'll wake in the morning and there will be a huge Glebe FC banner in your back garden. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. This is Glebe Football Club. Do we have to go to the crib now? Come on! Turn that way! Here, Penny! Oh, there we go. Even, even when you watch a big, big match revisited, they get beat. I'll bet against him. He went, uh, oh, he he went he 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 he's doing your 400 metres, Oh, yeah! Just by the way, I don't know why he's Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Second yeah. 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 Full time of the final score, Stansfield nil, Tunbridge Wells 2. Good first half, fairly even, although Tunbridge Wells always on top and always a better team. Second half, unbelievably scrappy, continually stop start and way too much arguing. Um, lovely, lovely setup, so do come to Glebe Football Club if you can, and thanks for watching.